everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, for the last four years I've been working as a lead software engineer and design engineer at a boutique financial consultancy in London. Now I recently left there in December last year or December 2023 to work on my own apps and build my own design description agency called Design Tide. Funnily enough, I've just signed my first Design Tide client and have just about handled service delivery for the first few weeks of January. Now, if you wanna learn more about my business and what I'm trying to do, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter that will be in the top link in the description below. But I imagine you're here to learn a bit more about my day and the apps I'm building, so let's get into it. So I was up around 6.30 to 7 today. I really did struggle to get out of bed, it was so cold. It's really dark still in the mornings here as we're in the winter in the UK at the moment. This is where I normally try and do some reading or do some deep work on interlude or even try and learn something new. Now, to be honest, I am human and sometimes don't do any of those things and just snuggle up in the warm bed. But today I decided to read and shove my React skills. Now, it might seem weird that even though I'm pretty experienced, I'm taking a course. And to be honest, I love a good coding course. Even though I'm familiar with the framework, I just wanted to keep my skills sharp. If you're new or just starting out, this is something I'd strongly recommend. Keep learning, build side projects. It's the best thing you can do. Once the sun has risen, I try and get out for a walk or run, but again, it really depends on the weather. But getting natural sunlight in the eye is the aim. So after some breakfast, I tried to sit down for deep work in the mornings by 9 a.m. I'm now not taking any meetings until two o'clock, leaving the whole morning, which is my most productive time for pure focus on interlude and design type client work. Implementing this change in my schedule has made a real difference for my productivity. If you can control when you have your meetings, I'd definitely recommend batching them. But again, I know obviously life's difficult, clients, bosses, managers, things get in the way. But this, I, I found this really, really helpful. Okay, so this morning I've been working on the saved feature for Interlude. Now, if you don't know what Interlude is, it's a very quick run through. So Interlude is basically a UI search wrapper around what in the UK we call Companies House. Yeah, it's basically just a register for all UK companies. So let us let me just show you what searching on it looks like compared to Interlude, which is my app. So we go to search, let's do blue media. Okay, great. Let's go to this one. You can see there's some information about the company. I can go to filing history. I can toggle to accounts and I can view PDF. It opens up a new tab and go through. So it's quite clunky, but it works well and it does its job. It's like a basic like a utility for accountants, for people that are doing business credit checkers. There's lots of things that are involved in this website people check for. Okay, so let's do the search for Blue Media on Interlude. So let's do Blue Media. Great, you can see that's already come up. I click exact match, overview, filings, people. Can you see how quick that is? Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is, I've already built this all out. And then you can see there's a save function. Click on that, it'll obviously save the company. So that's what I've been working on today, which is now pretty much finished. There's some backend database stuff I need to do, but the main UI elements are done. So now if you, when you save a company, they'll be added here. So this is one I saved earlier. So let's search for this company quickly, so LaFosse. There you go. You can see it's already saved, that's quite neat. So let's go back to saved. And one thing I've been working on is this kind of drag and drop feature within this within this page. I actually enjoyed implementing it. It's called uh, React D&D, &D, I think. Yeah, React Beautiful D&D. &D. It's a really, really cool package and I'd definitely recommend trying it out. But essentially what this is, so you have a draggable, a droppable area and then a bunch of draggable elements within it. And then the way I've done it is you can actually have these groups and then you can drag and drop these droppables into groups. But then what's really cool is you can actually also move the groups around. So it's kind of like a double layered droppable drag and drop area, which is really cool. Another cool feature, obviously you can add a group. So let's call this one YouTube. It's pretty neat. And then as you can see, there's empty. So that's quite a nice empty state. And then you can drag and drop in. And then one other cool feature, which I like is when you're dragging one around and you don't want to open up a tab, it just opens it up for you for a second and then eats it and goes away. So then you can open up and see that it's in there. And a really cool feature is you can actually open up a company from your saved area and then jump into all this information, which you can see is obviously here as well. So it's just kind of a really nice way for users to manage what companies they're kind of already looking, always looking at, or their own companies, you know, some actual use out of this. Another cool feature which Interlude has, which obviously, which the register doesn't have, is history. So you can actually go back at all of your history and see what companies you searched for. 
And what's really cool is you can look at every single point. So we know we looked at Blue Media Overview or let's do Blue Media Filings. I can hit Focus and it pre-opens it in Filings. Go to Accounts and there you go. So I've actually not been working on this today. I've been working on this Save feature. Uh, I'm really liking the look of it. It's a really, really cool, cool piece of kit. I'd say as we're obviously at the end of the week now, uh, my aim for next week would be just finishing up the saved folders for um, Interlude. So just kind of deleting them, making sure this delete function actually works. So confirming I can delete and then unsaving all groups, all companies in the group, just get kind of just finishing this model from like a functional point of view. Um, sync up with the database and then I think thinking about how that first load it, how this first loads in when they haven't saved a company. That's something I want to think about. And then just ensuring the accounting periods section here works well enough. Because obviously this is not a good example, but there's just some technicality that I need to work through here before we can actually publish and launch the product. Once that, there's not much else really. There's just a magic link for sign in I've decided to implement. A mobile screen saying, sorry, we're not ready yet. Because obviously I don't want to just optimize it for mobile. Yeah, and pretty much just get it deployed. So I suppose it'd be very reasonable to say that I could get this save function done next week along with this. Uh, and I think if we can get the landing page done, that'd be a plus as well. Now, if you're more interested in the nitty gritty parts of what I'm building here, because I know I haven't gone into huge amounts of detail about this section, please do join my newsletter below. I do go into a bit more detail there. Plus my monthly recurring revenue, my design tied business. There's a lot more that goes on, which you can get access to through that newsletter. So make sure you join. And I do actually have some good news. I'm only posting a new video every Friday to keep, so you guys can keep track of my progress with Interlude and my business. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video um, and follow along for the journey. So after finishing up the saved feature for Interlude, I started to work on some design tied client work. This was mainly designing a landing page for one of their new startups. Now, unfortunately, I can't go into too much detail about what I'm actually designing. It is really crazy how leaving four clear hours of focus work, how much you can get done. I would seriously recommend time blocking if you're struggling for productivity. It's really helped me and I'm sorry if like a breath. I feel like I'm a broken record, but I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Once I got that finished up, uh, it was time to go for a walk and just get outside. As we're all in this industry, sitting down at a desk for long hours is not good for your health. And I think always getting out to get some fresh air is the best thing you can do. Once I got back from my walk, just enjoyed some lunch watching with a YouTube. Once I finished lunch, I actually got back to work and luckily enough, I didn't have any meetings. So I could just focus on marketing design tide. It's actually funny when you go to work for yourself, you don't really realize that you kind of need to split up your day, half in client delivery and development work and the other half in marketing. If you don't do any marketing, no one knows you exist. Like this video is a piece of marketing. If I don't do this, you don't know what I'm doing and no one knows what I'm doing. So you need to keep pushing content out if you move into being a freelancer or doing your own business. It's something that I think I always forget and lots of people do forget and it's really hard, I find sometimes to kind of make myself do it. And that really comes to the end of my day. Now I must say, I always try and finish around six o'clock in the evening. That doesn't normally happen, it's always a bit later but I always try and aim for it because if, if I overwork and go too long and in the middle of the week, I end up ruining my focus time in the morning. So it's something I always try and aim for or aim to do. So once I finished, just relaxed, took some time off. Yeah, and that pretty much covers it for the day. I just wanna say I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you, and if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I suppose I'll see you next time. Thanks. Yeah.